If the submersible is to be found, it will almost certainly come with critical help from this. Sonar buoys deployed from Canadian Forces Aurora aircraft. Sonar is decades old technology, but still the standard for searching in deep dark waters. And they picked up the banging noises that have given hope to searchers in the North Atlantic. We will continue to double down and to figure out where uh, where the submersible is and how it can be brought to the surface. The Aurora aircraft dropped the torpedo-shaped sonar buoys into the water. First, they detect sounds, so if there was a banging from the submersible, search teams can triangulate where it's coming from. But also, the boys emit sonar pings, which can bounce off an object, so analysts again can determine where the return echo is coming from. It's not certain the noises are from the sub. They're trying to put all the pieces together. Uh, the noises have been described as banging noises. There have been multiple reports of noises, and every one of those noises is being analyzed, tracked, looked for patterns, and reported upon. That means eliminating other sources of noise, such as ships crossing the Atlantic, while still trying to find a tiny vessel. It's super, super small, and if you're in the Titanic wreckage, there's all the other, other things there, so where's the sub and where's everything else? So that's, that's super challenging. With potentially a few hours of oxygen left, the banging noises have revived hope for the crew on the Titan. It changes my thoughts uh, incredibly, so now I have this giant burst of optimism. But as a deep sea veteran, David Gallo's optimism is tempered, knowing what the men on board are going through if they're still alive. Everyone that's been to the sea, to the bottom of the sea in a submarine, uh, has feared this and wondered what would happen if this happened. If you were trapped there and the air slowly running out would be just horrible. I don't like to think about it. For the next several hours, what everyone is thinking about and hoping for is finding the Titan crew alive and well. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.